So for us, understanding the carbon cycle and how, uh, how we work within it uh, is a big part of our household economy. Connor is cutting kindling from the dead wood of pines and the pine is these lower branches have been burnt by previous um, fuel reduction booms. Under these pine trees grow a whole stack of different mushrooms, the ones we like to eat most are the saffron milk caps. <clears throat> so while we don't want to over harvest and deplete potential habitat for animals, and also the soil building that the my, uh, mycelium needs, the woody material the mycelium needs. Um, if the CFA or other land managers see this, they'll, they'll deem it as a fire risk on the edge of town and just set the whole fire, uh, forest on fire, which they've done through here many times. Woody helps collect the kindling. This is a fire truck that uh, was completely covered over with timber. You can see that big log had blocked it and several others. And slowly we've been clearing up the fire trail. Um, again, not over harvesting and loading up on our bikes and taking home uh, our local biked and walked for renewable energy. So Woody unloads the wood by the fire. Uh, we've got our family cloth, which is our renewable toilet paper made from op shop linen. Um, drying by the fire, we've got our hot water being heated in the wet back. We've got citrus always being dried. Um, and these are wild mushrooms from the forest being dried up there for later soups. This is a stock pot. Uh, a bone broth. Thanks, Woody. Um, and we've got a bread just about to come out of the oven. Let's take that out. Whoa, that's hot. It's one of our locally local biodynamic spelt loaves. Um, wild yeast. It's wild fermented. And then I've got this ash ready to go uh, to be taken down and sort it out to close the loop. So how we sort it out is we uh, put it over this um, big sifter, sift the potash out. Tip the biochar into an old chaff bag, stomp on it. So it comes to the biochar piss station. This is our little place where, where we have a wee in the garden. Our biochar piss station is right beside what we call the red shitter, which is a composting toilet, a squat toilet, where we collect our, our precious human your waste. Um, add lots of carbon to it and compost it properly after it's come out of here. So wood use is being used all the time, local wood, for a whole range of different things. After we've peed on the and activated the biochar, 
You can you, you don't have to use your own. You can use all sorts of nitrogenous material. We then put it on our rows of vegetables. Uh, the biochar is great for veggies, for annuals, but the potash is much better to go on our food forest area. Potash is high in potassium, means that it suits woodier materials. If you put potash on your vegetables, uh, it'll make them go really woody. The roots really woody and things like broccoli will become very woody very quickly. So we keep the potash off our veggies and there's a lot of wood material that goes into the chooks as well. Wood waste from prunings uh, go into this large um, what I call a macro mulch system. Hey girls! Hey lovelies! And what happens in here with this large woody mountain is a very slow compost, extremely slow. But uh, we want it to be slow and it takes up a goodly amount of, the, of their run. Chooks get in there and scratch but they can't turn it into desert like chooks uh, can and there's a whole lot of microecology in there that chooks scratch in little grubs and insects and larvae and various bits and pieces that um, they forage for in there that they can't scratch and scratch and scratch. Um, we also put down every year leaves thick carpet of leaves on their run um, to give them more scratching material. And there you have some pretty healthy birds. Also setting um, composts. This one's about six weeks old and that will be lovely soil for the spring. So the whole carbon cycle from gathering our wood on foot in wheelbarrows and by bicycles, uh, using carbon in a really deliberate way and closing this, uh, the loop. Um, now obviously we do emit some greenhouse gases uh, through our fires, however that material would be burnt up by the CFA and other land managers um, perceived as a fire risk. So we're really using something that is going to be wasted material anyway and giving it the best possible use. Cause there's no such thing as waste